Hello, I'm Harak Alamaki. In this presentation, the House of Dior will be introduced and major brand management concepts and theories will be applied. The Couture House of Dior was established by Christian Dior in 1946 in Paris, France. In the next few years, Dior House revolutionized the fashion industry and later it expanded in new markets and countries. The company distributes its luxury goods in seven market sectors, such as the fashion and leather goods and the perfumes and cosmetics. Its main competitors are Asprey Holdings, Berber, Chanel, Gucci and Polo Ralph Lauren, while its target audience are the Afro Millennials and Baby Boomers, which are the two largest luxury consumer groups. Dior applies the Align Umbrella brand architecture strategy, since it distributes various products under the brand's name to different markets. While every category in Dior's portfolio shares the same philosophy and all the products are finally endorsed by Dior's rich history and culture. The brand name can be pronounced and spelled easily. It contains the founder's surname, name, which makes it familiar and meaningful by inserting Christian Dior's personality in the core of the brand, making it easily recognizable, unique and differentiated. The brand's logo is a mark word, with the name of the company clearly and elegantly designed. It is easily recognizable and can be associated with the brand. Dior's packaging clearly states the brand logo. It is minimal, elegant and chic, with the brand's colors that help consumers identify the brand, while it can protect the products inside and function as storage boxes after the purchase. Dior's brand elements are consistent as they have not been altered since the company started. Every component supports the others, along with the brand personality and culture, while all of them shape Dior's brand identity. Natalie Portman is a muse and the face of Dior since 2010. The actress not only endorses the brand by participating in various Dior's marketing activities, but also in her everyday life. This is important in terms of brand identity since celebrities' lifestyles, opinions, choices and values create brand identity. Finally, Dior stores live and breathe a brand by linking the store's design with the brand's identity and its core values. This is why Dior stores are designed with the brand's colors and characteristics. The stores have also places to sit and talk with the experts in order to create the ultimate shopping experience, while virtual reality headsets transfer visitors to the backstage of Dior's runways. Dior is positioned toward affluent millennials and baby boomers and offers luxury fashion designs, accessories, cosmetics, perfumes, wines and spirits that are superior in terms of elegance, innovation, personalization and the French style they are designed with. Dior's positioning statement focuses on the key points of differentiation the brand has against its competitors. These points of differentiation were chosen since they differentiate the brand from its beginning and are some of the core Dior's values. One of Dior's competitors in the UK is Burberry. From a comparison between the brand, it can be found that both Dior and Burberry position themselves as luxury apparel brands and target affluent millennials and baby boomers. Dior's design promotes the French style and classy elegance with highly trusted cosmetics, whereas Burberry positions itself as an expert in waterproof rainwear for heavy weather designed with a classic British style. Let's now move to the brand analysis. Applying the Capfer's brand identity prism with the six brand facets, it can be said that Dior relies on its elegant designs, premium materials, fragrances and cosmetics, exclusive packaging and special in-store experiences to build its brand physique or its tangible added value. Dior created its brand personality by focusing on characteristics like creativity, elegance, class, femininity, and its culture by building it around the French style and couture, while more recently it adopted the feminist ideology. The brand relationship with its customers is often direct, in stores or online, while it attempts to develop a loyal relationship with its customers by being inspired from them and created unique experiences. Dior perceives its audience as affluent, status-driven and elegant, though most of its customers are women. On the other hand, Dior consumers see themselves as modern, feminine, confident, classy and special. 
Applying the brand resonance model to Dior, it can be seen that in the bottom of the pyramid, the brand salience is high since Dior's market share is increasing constantly. The company's sales rose by 17% in 2017, while Dior's website global traffic in the last seven months is 4.89 million. Moving in the next stages, the brand's performance shows that Dior meets its customers' preferences by offering unique, high-quality designs, premium cosmetics, French-style couture, and special in-store experiences. The pricing of the company fits the budget of its target audiences. The company also does not use size zero models in its runways, while it lets consumers see the backstages of its fashion shows. Furthermore, in the imagery part, Dior fulfills its customers' social and psychological needs, since it is perceived as a heritage brand with rich history by its customers, who are the affluent millennials and baby boomers. By wearing Dior, consumers feel feminine and fashionable, while they feel like being part of a revolutionary fashion brand. Moving to the judgment phase, Dior is one of the most trusted brands, while consumers say that they are proud to be associated with a brand like this. The same report indicates that the 29% of the people surveyed had used the brand, while the 31% had a great experience and the 85% of them would recommend the brand. Therefore, the brand is perceived superior in comparison with other luxury apparel brands such as Tom Ford, Burberry, Yves Saint Laurent and others. Next, the feeling state is also high, since consumers say that they are proud to be associated with a brand like Dior due to its rich history and perceived quality, and therefore they feel like being respected and accepted from society. In the top of the pyramid is the resonance phase, which is not as high as the others. Dior has a group of highly engaged loyal consumers that represent the 30% of the company's annual sales volume. However, Dior's average engagement rate on Facebook and Instagram in 2017 is low in comparison with the average Facebook and Instagram engagement rate for luxury fashion brands. Applying Nike's brand personality framework to Dior, excitement, competence and sophistication are the attributes that can characterize a brand due to its innovative, revolutionary, creative, classic culture and its successful operation in the market sector. Briefly, the brand revolutionized the apparel industry and continues to innovate, addresses its products to young ages with cool, modern and imaginative creations. Dior's products are characterized by quality materials and manufacture, and this is why it is highly trusted and successful. Finally, it is an elegant brand with feminine and glamorous creations. Using Keller's Secondary Sources of Brand Knowledge model to find Dior's secondary brand associations, it can be seen clearly that the brand links its name and character to all of its products and product lines. Dior is also associated with Paris in the minds of consumers, since it is one of the most iconic French brands, while it can be paired with the special store experience that it offers. Its more recent association is one with the feminist movement since the, for the last two years the brand supported this cause with special dedicated products. Finally, the brand is linked with some celebrities such as the actress Natalie Portman and Charlize Theron, while it is highly connected with its founder and revolutionary designer Christian Dior. Celebrities have to match the brands and product image in order for the association to be effective. Charlize Theron endorses Dior products for almost 12 years. She did several campaigns for Dior Jador fragrance and as the company says, the Jador woman is embodied by her as she promotes an image of an elegant, modern, feminine, liberated person which absolutely fits the brand's image. The Dior commercial she stars gain millions of views on YouTube, while after her participation in a Dior Jador commercial in 2011, the company increased its market share and sales by 17% since customers tend to appreciate and trust celebrities and their decision-making process is influenced by them. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Dior managed to be one of the most successful apparel brands worldwide. This is due to its effective brand image, identity and equity management, while its brand associations are strong 
and the use of the celebrity endorsement practice is often quite successful. Thank you for watching.